Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Share Share. Now, before my husband and I rented out our condo in Toronto last month, we had to address a few small things, like this small bathroom, which has definitely seen better days. For those of you who are about to rent out your space or you just don't have the time or the money to do a full-blown makeover, not a problem. There are always ways to make your space feel better. So today I'm going to show you five upgrades that you can do on a small budget, so let's get started. I pretty much focused all of my energies on the other rooms in the condo, so I have to admit that this bathroom sucks. 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 Builder basic tiles, budget light fixtures. Nothing really matched, and I can't believe I left it like this for so long. I know, I am such a bad designer. If you watched my Modern Loft video a few weeks ago, you definitely know that I love a minimalist vibe. Open and airy, so I wanted to continue that into the bathroom so our new tenants could feel like they were at the spa. Upgrade number one, replace the tile. The one by one mosaic tiles were pretty bad. First of all, they were baby blue, and they didn't really do anything for the space. They were hard to clean, and for some reason, the matte finish always made it look dirty. The cement board that was there didn't actually go to the tub, so let's just say there were a lot of issues, so I had to redo the cement board, and we had to make sure everything was cool before the tile went up. The solution? I went with a 4x12 subway tile in gloss white. The great thing about subway tile is that it's inexpensive. So the hardest decision you're gonna have to make is, do I go with a brick staggered pattern, so where they're offset, or do I go with a stacked? And I went with stacked because it actually saves on the amount of cuts that my contractor had to do, and you don't get as much waste. So overall, I spent about $300 on the tile, just in terms of materials, and then it was another $500 for supplies. Upgrade number two. Switch up the handheld shower fixture. The existing handheld shower fixture was just meh, meh, okay. It had three settings and I didn't really enjoy the whole shower experience. And for $120, I found this awesome fixture that had a handheld shower with so many settings. It fit into a larger ring so you could actually feel like you had a rain head shower. Now that says spa to me. Upgrade number three, switch up your lighting. The builder put up track lighting as vanity lights and there was an outdoor fixture above the shower. Kind of a strange mix, don't you think? And really, that's just not enough light. I mean, especially if you're putting on makeup, mm -mm. So I found this awesome LED light fixture that is ceiling mount. Perfect for a rental space, especially if you're trying to save on your electricity bill and the light reflects off the tile to make the shower area feel huge. Over the vanity, we took out the track lighting and I found this inexpensive ceiling fixture from Ikea that I used as a wall light. Each light can be moved to be directed down to the vanity or you can face it up to the ceiling if you like and it give you the option of just switching up the looks. Now that I've started to introduce a few more rectangular and square shapes into the design, the frameless mirror looks 10 times better. Upgrade number four, switch up your accessories. My idea for this modern spa look really emphasized repetition. So I used bath accessories like the soap pump and tray that had clean lines and the translucent finish doesn't take up too much visual space on the countertop. And last but not least, upgrade number five. With all these hard lines, you need to add some softness. So everything in the room is open and airy, but I wanted to add some drama. So I hung this block print geometric shower curtain, black and white, kind of edgy, but when it's all folded up, it just looks so pretty. Now we've got the drama with the shower curtain, so we're going a little bit more laid back with the towels. They're terry cloth, but they have a rib texture, so it continues that linear effect. And this faux orchid plant, adds a natural element to the space and really completes the spa vibe. Thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a like if you're really excited about bathroom rentals or doing things on a budget. And of course, leave me comments. I really love hearing what you have to say, sharing how you're also working on your own rentals. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Simply Share Share. I'll be back next week with a brand new video. So I hope you have a great week.